Hi amazing people, welcome to Christianity over Islam with Sam Shimon and on today's episode of this amazing debate, Sam Shimon debate with a Muslim on the spirit in the Quran. Let's watch this amazing video to get more details. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, uh, that's right. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ on those who seek the truth. What's up? Brother, uh, can I, uh, can I add a video in uh, live uh, video or audio? Uh, I'm on video. Where are you at, buddy? Okay, okay. Uh, let me let me prefer. Uh, let me give uh, give me please uh, give me five minutes. Okay. Please don't take too long, brother. Please. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, brother. We're waiting. Okay. Father, be glorified. Son of God, our God and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, be glorified. Holy Spirit, be glorified in Jesus' name. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. He just came on right now. He said he was sleeping. Just to let you know who he is. Lord willing, I'll eventually be able to work StreamYard sooner than later. Okay. Dude, why are you spitting, bro? Sanu Aru Islam yeah, is the name. Yeah, oh, we can hear you yeah, spit, brother. Why are you scared me, man? No, no, no. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. No, you so, scared uh, me. Let me. Give me. You scared me. You go. <laughs> what? So, go ahead. Hurry up. Yeah, okay. Thank Sanu you so much, Aru, my, my dear brother. So, Thank you, my, my brother in humanity. Islam, I, I'm, I'm from Bangladesh. Thank you, my brother. Just uh, get ready, man. Get ready. But don't go <laughs> like you want to spit on the mic. Come on, brother. Don't do this. Brother in humanity. Yeah. Audu Yeah, sure. Sure. Go ahead, of course, because uh because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah said in the Quran chapter 17, verse number yes, chapter yes, 17, yes. verse number 17. That Allah slow, Allah slow, be Adam. slow. So tell I have honored slow. the children of Adam. All the children of Adam. Okay, friend. Slow. Speak slow. So people can hear you. When you speak 50 miles per hour, no, slow, buddy, slow. Be calm down. Be patient. Yeah, sure. sure. So are you sure, ready sure. now? Sure. sure. Uh, I'm waiting for I you. Said, I shared a verse from the Glorious Quran, uh, chapter yes, 17. Yes, yes. Are you ready now? You're not listening. We're going to talk past each other again. Are you ready? Because you're not, I don't know if you are or not. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, okay. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, my friend. Uh, so let's talk a little bit. You ready? You have your Quran ready? You have the Quran yeah, I'm open? Ready, I'm ready. Okay, so you have the Quran open. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. Can you go for me? Chapter 19 of the Quran, Surah Al Maryam. Yeah, sure. Okay, chapter go there. 19. Friend, okay, yeah. Well, yeah. Chapter Let 19, what's number? When, when you get there, you start from Ayah 16 and read Ayah 16 and 17, please. Okay, 16 and 17, okay. But slowly, because if you talk too fast, people are not going to understand. So you have to do slow for the people. Okay, okay, sure. Okay. Uh, verse number 16, What kitab min ahliha makanan sharqiyya? Mentioned, mentioned of Muhammad Wasallam In the book, the story of Mary, Muriam, alayhi wa sallam. Okay, now slowly, slowly. She withdrew. Friend, my friend, Sanam, slowly. Yeah. Reread the verse. You read the Arabic. Don't insert the word Muhammad. And don't say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam yet. They didn't say Muhammad. That's okay. You can add it if you want. Mention in the book Kitab. That's it. It didn't say Muhammad. You added Muhammad. Don't do that to your Quran. Just read what's in the in front of you. Okay. 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 Please don't so add words because I don't want to stop. Book, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Mention. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mention in the book. Uh, Mary, okay. Yes. When she withdrew from her family to a place toward toward the east. Yes. Okay. Now read seventeen. I have seventeen. In Duni Hijaban, she took in, uh, seclusion uh, from their screen. Then we sent uh, to her our angel. No. See. Secret. Well, hold on, Sanural. Please fear Allah and don't lie to me. It didn't say angel. It said ruh. Read the Arabic again. Okay, Ruh. Okay, so translate accurately. Send to her Ruh. Yeah. Ruh. Okay, Don't say ruh. angel. No now, I should, I should okay, slowly. Ruh. Slowly. Friend, slowly. Hold on. Yeah. I know. Ruh. Just so slowly. What's the Arabic word for angel? Malak. Malak. Okay. Means so angel. does it say we sent our Malak? No. Okay, good. It is mentioned we sent our Ruh. Okay, just to translate it then. Then we'll go to the tafsir later. Just translate. So we center our spirit, right? Yeah. Okay. Just say because okay. I want. I remember two things. You and me. We study Quran. We know Quran. I know a little bit. You know more. 
the people listening, they don't know Quran. You can't go too fast and translate the way you want. Translate the Arabic correctly. So we center our spirit. I'll keep going. Yeah. He represented himself to her as a well proportioned man. So he appeared as like, a man, like right? A human being, like us. He appeared as yeah. a man, right? Yeah. Okay, he proportioned now. himself or, or he re represented himself to her uh, as a man, like okay, you good. and me. Good. Now read 18 and 19. I 18 and 19. Okay, sure. She said, Indeed, I seek refuge in the most merciful from you. So, leave, uh, if you should be fearing of Allah. Verse number 19. Okay. He said yes. that I am I am only the messenger of you uh, from your Lord to give you the news of a pure boy. Okay, it doesn't say news. You add it again to the Arabic. Yeah, pure boy. Yeah, no, no. See, why are you making me correct you? It didn't say give you good news. The Arabic didn't say that. Li ahabba gulam and zakin mean to give you a pure boy. Translate it correctly again. Okay, uh, to give. Uh, this is the this is the translation. Uh, to give you, ahaba ahaba means uh, to give. Here yes, give means giving the news. No, okay? it doesn't mean so, good news. Ahabala, no, no. Let me correct you. No, it doesn't mean yeah. give you the good news. La ahaba is used to mean to give, not give good news. There is an Arabic word for good not news. It doesn't say good news. Yeah. Okay, translate okay, it again okay. correctly. Okay. Yeah, sure. So I'm translating that li ahaba ahaba means to give. Oh, I agree with you. To okay. give lucky for you, gulam and zakia, pure boy. So okay. to give, what to give? Okay, let's so read it slowly the, the, because sorry. you you confuse the verse so much, you lost everyone. Literally, it says, "I am only a messenger of your Lord to give you a faultless boy." Right? Yeah. Okay. So I want everyone I to understand because you read too fast. You had too many words, and I'm correcting you. Even though you're reading the Arabic, you're not translating correctly. Okay, literally it says, I'm only a messenger of your Lord to give to you, to give to you a faultless boy, correct? Yes, okay. this is the uh, literally translation, I agree with you. Okay, so you agree, you're honest so far. So who came to her, number one? This is Ruh. Okay, secondly. Ruh means from, from our Ruh. Yes, secondly, Ruh who us. gave her the son? The, uh, the okay, so everyone heard you. The Ruh, who, 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 the, the Ruh who represented himself as a man. That's right. Good. So you, everyone heard you. I'm glad you're being honest because you fear God. Good. The Ruh appeared as a man and he gave her the son who's faultless. He gave her the son, right? Yeah. I agree. Okay, now go to Surah al -Tahari. He gave her the son. Okay, what is the... Uh, we'll get to the meaning can, if you go to Surah Tahrim. Okay? Yeah, no, you don't need to explain. Quran explains. Surah Al Tahrim, 66, Ayah 12. Go to Surah Al Tahrim. Okay, Surah Tahrim, uh, chapter 66. Read verse 12. Uh, let, 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 yeah, okay, hold on. One minute. Surah Tahrim, chapter 66, verse number 12, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And the example of Mary, uh, daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity, uh, okay, Farjaha, who guarded her chastity, and we blew into her through our angel. This is the translation no, of Sarah. That doesn't say angel. And, Forget the English okay. translation. Translate the Arabic. What did he breathe into her? Ahsanat Farjaha, who guarded her chastity. And what did he breathe to her? Into her? This is Ruh. Okay, so why your translation said angel? Why your translation yeah. said angel? Didn't say angel. It says we breathe into her our spirit. Yeah, our Ruh. Yeah, okay. I agree, I agree. That translation Okay, so let's uh, take it step by step. Translated as, uh, as angel, okay? Okay, yeah. So this is, the Arabic word is Ruh. Yes. Okay, I agree with you. Okay, now, yeah. here's what we want to do so people understand. Allah breathed His Spirit into the body of Mary. Why? Why did the Spirit enter her body? Okay, okay. Let me explain, let me explain. So, what is mean by Ruh? Go to chapter 16, verse number 
to 102. My dear brother. Yeah, that's right. You got to prove my mind. Ruh al Quddus. I know. Ruh al Quddus. I know. Uh, I know. Okay, okay. The Ruh al Quddus brought the Wahi to you. I know. Yeah. Yeah, you know. So uh, let me read again because people will understand or Ul Nazala Ruh al Quddus said the pure Ruh. Or okay, Holy Spirit. means pure. Yeah. Okay. The pure Ruh Mir Rabbika Bil Hakti has brought it down from your That's Lord. Right. Now, in slowly. Order to make yeah. fun. Okay. Slowly, slowly. Hold now, on. Wait, now. Wait, before you go to Surat yeah, Al-Baqarah, sure. brother, listen. I know you're going to go to Surat Al-Baqarah, Ayah 97, and I'm going to show you you're wrong. But before we go to Surat Al-Baqarah 297 to talk about Jibreel, I know your argument. Listen to me. First of all, it says Ruh Al-Quddus. Ruh Al-Quddus. The word Qudus can mean pure or holy. So that's why in many translation, it says we sent down to you the Holy Spirit. So that's number one. Now I'm going to tell you where you're going to go. Now you're going to go to Surat Al-Baqarah, Ayah 97, right? No, I, I am quoting Surat Al-Nahol. But now you're, to, now you're going to take me, now you're going to take me to Surat Al-Baqarah, right? Next one, next ayah. Okay, okay. Surah Baqarah. Is yeah. that what you're going to take me? Uh, no, I want to know if that's what you want to take me. Are you taking me there? Are you going to okay. quote that ayah? No, I Oh, good. Okay, okay. then forget that ayah. Surah Baqarah. Okay. Forget the Baqarah. Okay. okay. Who's the Ruh now? Ruh al Qudus. Who is he? Who is he? Ruh al Who is Ruh al Qudus? I know who he is. I'm asking you from your prisma, from your deen. Yeah. So, the. Yeah, the answer is who is Ruh al Qudus here? It is Jibril. Jibril I know you're going to say that. Ruh no, he's not. Qudus. Ruh al Qudus, okay. No proof. So, no, it's okay, not. Okay, the, the evidence is uh, the evidence is mentioned in another verse of the Quran. I know, the verse is Surat al Baqarah 97, okay. right? Uh, it is That's what I just said. You're going to take me there. Okay, brother, brother yeah. in humanity. Did I not just tell you, you're going to try to take me to chapter 2 of the Quran 97? I know your argument. No, it doesn't say Holy Spirit is Gabriel. No, it doesn't. Okay, so you want me to show you why you're wrong? Okay. So now, 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 okay, let me tell you. So all the angels, they are spirit. They are spirit. No, all they're the not. Angels, okay? No, they're not. So that is why all the angels, they are Friend, spirit. no, they're they not. They are called Ruh. See you again. Okay. You're not listening. There is not a single verse that says the angels are all spirit. Give me the ayah where it says the angels are all spirits. Show me the Quran. Don't tell me what you think. I don't care about your opinion. And don't add to the Quran because you're going to answer to God on the day of judgment. Show me in the Quran where it says the angels are all spirits. Okay, the, the Quran is clear that Jibril brought it down in another verse. First, show so me where it says the angels are the are spirits. Hold on, don't change the argument. You just said, everyone heard you. You said, all angels are spirits. Give me the ayah of the Quran where it says all the angels yeah. are spirits. Give me the ayah. No, no, no. no okay, okay. Uh, the argument is that in, in chapter 16, verse number 102, Ruh al Qudus, who, who is Ruh al Qudus? The answer is mentioned in Quran. No, in Surah al Baqarah. Okay, we'll get, nine, we'll get to Baqarah. Okay? My brother in humanity, uh, we'll get to Baqarah. Can yeah. you first show me? You said you're not listening to yourself. Can you first show me where the Quran says all angels are spirits? No, it is not mentioned in the Quran. Say it louder so they hear you. Say it again. Oh, the, all the angels are spirit. It is not mentioned in the Quran. Uh, Thank you. You're very honest. You're Quran. very honest. I like you. You just said to everyone, notice he said in the Quran, it does not say angels are spirits. Thank you. So at least now we can. I, I said, yeah, but I said the exact statement that all the angels are spirit is not mentioned in exactly. the Exactly. This is what I said. Yes, and we agree. Uh, Thank now, you. Now, 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 the, the argument, the point is, the point is that in Surah An Nahl, chapter 16, verse number 102, that Ruh al Qudus has brought it down. Who sure. is Ruh al Qudus? The answer is mentioned in the Quran itself, chapter 2, verse number 97. No, it's not. That, uh, nope. Uh, Okay. 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 Okay.
say whoever is an enemy of Jibreel, it is none but he who has brought okay. the Quran down upon you. Okay. So this is Ruh al Qudus, the Quran is clear mentioned. The Ruh al Qudus is Jibreel who brought down the Quran upon you. Okay. Are you ready for my answer now? Are you ready uh, for yeah. the answer? Can I? Are you ready now for the answer? Yeah, sure. Okay. Number one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me answer you now, and I'm going to prove from Quran. So get ready. Number one. Just because Gabriel brought down the Quran in one verse and another verse, the Holy Spirit supposedly brought brought it down. That doesn't mean Gabriel and the Holy Spirit are the same. And here's why: because you know and I know that the Quran was sent down over many years in different ways, and it wasn't just Gabriel. Go to Surah Al Maryam, chapter 19, verse 64. Surah Al Maryam, read 64. So I know your argument. So I know I told you you're going to go to chapter 2, verse 97. But now I'm going to show you why you're wrong. And then we're going to go back to my question again. Go to chapter 19, verse yeah, 64. Sure. Chapter 19, verse 64. Okay. Oma mm -hmm. Tanazel, Oma Tanazel, Illa so uh, translate we, uh, the translate, we descend not except by the order of your lord okay. to him belongs that uh, before us uh, and that behind us and what is in between okay. never is your lord forgetful now listen to what you read okay. we descend not that's a group who's talking to who Who's talking and who's he talking to? Who's talking? Uh, okay, let me check the pre uh, let me check the previous verse. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you want to check the previous verse. It's going to cause problems for you because it's Allah. So let's forget that. I don't want to create problems for you. Let's go with the tafsir. The tafsir says it's Jibreel speaking. Yeah, this is the tafsir. Jibreel, Jibreel right? Too. Okay. Uh, but catch uh, what he says. Ibn Qasir said, Jibreel, okay, I know. Ibn Qasir mentioned, okay, if, what Ibn Qasir mentioned, let me, let me read, give you one minute, please. The Ibn Qasir mentioned in his tafsir that, that the angels don't descend except by Allah's Okay, power. repeat it one more time. Okay. Who, who don't descend? Read it, repeat it the one more time. Angels. Repeat it the one more time. Angels. Okay, guys, I want everyone to hear. Let me now explain to them. Tell them my friend, let me explain to them. Okay. Guys, did you hear what he just read? He okay. read 1964, where it says, We do not come down except by command of your Lord. And Ibn Kathir says, The angels do not come down except by the command of Allah. So now, guys, did you hear 1964? Gabriel doesn't come down by himself. A group comes down with him. Did you guys hear that? A group comes down. So it's not Gabriel alone. Okay. So now I'm going to ask you the question. In 1964, it says it's not just Gabriel okay. comes down. A group comes down with him. He's not alone. Okay, doctor. Okay, what? so now here's my question. Let me hear your question. Prove to me that okay. now that you have a group that come down, it's not just Gabriel. A group come down. Prove to me now that Gabriel is the Holy Spirit. When Gabriel doesn't come down alone, he comes down with a group. Prove to me the Holy Spirit is not with that group, with Gabriel, but that Gabriel is the Holy Spirit. Now prove it. Okay, okay. So uh, it is very good point. But the, Say it again. The, it's a very what? Is, Wait, friend, slowly. You talk too fast. I'm not trying to, but you, you don't see yourself. You speak too fast. It's a very what again? Good point you said? Yeah, it is a, it is a good point. Okay. That right. is what I said. Okay. Okay, so uh, but my question is in Arabic language, uh, the, uh, when for example, when Allah said we have created this is uh, out, uh, this is for honor and dignity. This is not uh, no, that's not the, the number. This no, no, no. Honor I have to correct you. No, no, so, no. Let me correct you. Can I correct you? No. You had people yeah. like Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Taymiyyah that said when Allah says we, because He's talking about Himself and the angels. But secondly. Jibril is not Allah. You can't say that Jibril talks like Allah and uses we because now you make Jibril like Allah. No, and you I, did sure. so. I did not say so. Okay, Brother, good. I did not say so. so I don't use that argument. Change the argument. In Arabic language, there are uh, two kinds of number. One is number of plural and second is number of respect and Prove it. or one. Okay, hold on. So My in friend. this verse, how are you sure? 
in this bars how are you sure that it is not number of respect it is number of plural. because how? number one uh, let me answer you because you didn't hear me because number one jibril yeah. is not allah he cannot speak like allah number two he says that allah is before us and around us so he's talking about a group that allah surrounds so those are the two answers and thirdly you went to ibn kathir not me ibn kathir told you it's the angel so is he wrong yeah, yeah, he said angels. He mentioned angels. So what do you mean? How so do I know? My, question, my point is no. What do you mean? How I know? No, my my question was my uh, my brother. My question was that uh, uh, the, uh, the Allah is telling what the angel said or uh, uh, okay. No, according so to my question was how do we, how do you know that this bars. Okay. is not a number of majesty okay. this is number of plural How because you are you saying question? allah is saying we do we do not come down except by command of your lord so someone's commanding allah no so who's speaking no this is this is jibril said okay so are this you telling jibril, me that jibril jibril can speak like allah with respect so he's equal to allah in the way he speaks No, I didn't say so. So you answered yourself. So stop using that argument. That's how I know it's not respect. But the third question, can you prove to me that in Arabic at the time of your prophet, prove, don't just tell me, prove there was plural of respect. They use plural of respect. Prove it to me. Don't just say it. You didn't give me proof. Prove to me that at the time of your prophet that they had plural of respect when it came to number. Prove it. Show me. Okay. Proof. Don't just say it. You made a claim. Claim means okay. nothing. Prove it. Okay, okay. Let, let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. Go so ahead, tell me. From 14 centuries years ago, at the from the time of seven. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, give me one minute. Okay. Give me one minute. Okay. At the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi at the time of seventh century, not a single Arab asked our Prophet that how many God do you have. Uh, that's can not my question. That my this friend. is plural of respect and honor and dignity. This is not plural of Okay, can honor. I correct you? You didn't listen yes, to you. me. You didn't listen to me. I just told you, Ibn Taymiyyah said, the plural is because Allah is speaking of himself and the angels. Why didn't you listen to me? Didn't no, I just I tell I, I don't agree. I don't agree. Okay, that's okay. Don't you don't agree. have to agree. Listen, I okay, you don't have to agree, but that's my point. You have someone, Sheikh Al Islam, saying it's Allah and the angels. Allah, when he says we, it's talking about himself and the angels. You say he's wrong. Good. Prove to me he's wrong. Prove it. Okay, show me why, why did he say that uh, uh, Allah and angels, we means Allah and angels. Because Sheikh, uh, Ibn, uh, Sheikh Al Islam was smart. He knew Arabic. He knew you can't prove that in the Arabic language of the time of your prophet, there was something as plural respect. See, he was smart. He knows there was no proof for it. So give me the proof that this was used at the time of your prophet. Prove it. Don't just tell. Where's your proof? Bring me your proof. The Quran itself is evidence. My no, it is it? When Allah, you, yeah, yeah, let me, let me tell you. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used we, but he said, Qul huwa Allah hu ahad, say he is Allah, the Lord in one. You're not listening Absolutely again. Absolutely one. Oh my God. So, so, so my question is, no, 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 my question, Quran itself is explaining what we means. No, it's so not. So if we means the number of plurals, then he, Allah did not say, did not mention that it is one. He is one. He said, he, he, he may be mentioned that he is more okay. than one. My friend. If we're going to talk past each other because you're not yeah. listening. Saying Allah's Ahad doesn't tell me whether that Ahad, that one Allah can then speak in the plural to refer to him and his angels who do what he commands them to do. In fact, you're, you're proving it. You know how you're proving it to me? Who breathed into Mary? Who breathed into Mary? In 66.12, Surah Al-Tahrim, it says, we Allah, breathe into Allah. her. Allah, but Allah, your Allah, commentator, Allah, okay, let me explain. Your Allah, commentator, Ibn Kathir, Allah. says, no, it was Jibreel who blew, blew into Mary. So was it Allah or Jibreel? It is Allah. But it Ibn Kathir Allah. says it was Jibreel. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, there, there are uh, different, uh, different. So who's because the we? Know, because uh, different uh, tafsir writers. So, okay, let, let me explain. Because Quran itself has explained it okay chapter uh, 32 verse number nine chapter what 
Chapter 32, Surah, Surah Sizda. Surah, Surah. No, 32 verse Chapter 9 doesn't explain it. says, Allah has breathed His spirit, uh, spirit into mankind. I'm not talking about that ayah. I'm no, talking okay. about 66. No, no, no. So what what is been by Ruh here? Yeah. What is been by Ruh here? Yeah. Chapter nine, uh, 32, verse number 9. What is been by Ruh here? Yeah, yeah uh, because Frank, I, was, I uh, know. Okay, let me read. Let me read. On, on minute, 32, minute, yeah, that we breathe into mankind of our spirit. I know. Uh, yeah, spirit. Yeah, I know. Uh, let, let me So, Summa Sawahu, then we pro, uh, he proportioned him. One of a mir Ruhi, he. Yeah, I know. His spirit. Into okay. him. Years ago. Okay. Okay. Now, now let me explain. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me explain. So, what is in the roof here? What is in the roof here? Roof means soul. No. So Allah you made another mistake. Oh, my. Stuck for Allah or stuck He's for Allah? Soul. A stuck for Allah, a stuck for Allah, a stuck for Allah. You did it again and you think you're going to pull fast one on me. Ruh is not the nafs. Please stop twisting the Quran. Ruh is not the nafs. No. Okay. okay, let me correct you. The ruh that he breathed into man is not the nafs of man. It's the spirit of Allah that was sent to make man alive. It's not referring to the nafs of the man. In fact, here I'm going to challenge you. Show me one single ayah in the Quran where it says man, man has a ruh. Okay, okay. Let me let me answer the first point. You said you mentioned, my dear brother, that ruh is not nafs. I agree with you because nafs you agree with me. Good, totally good. Word. You agree. Totally nafs. Uh, what does it mean by nafs? Uh, nafs means me the minute. soul. Please give me one Your minute. soul. Okay. So, uh, please give me one minute. Please I'm give giving you two minutes. Yes. Yeah. So, what does it mean by ruh and what does it mean by nafs? Okay. So, because. Nafs is physical body, including physical body. No, oh physical my physical. goodness. Auza billah. Auza billah. Auza billah. Auza billah. Wait, wait, wait. No, you no, just. No, 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 no. I have to correct you. No, 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 no. I have to correct you. Because Allah is a nafs. Surah Al Maida, Ayah 116. Allah is a nafs. So you just said Allah has a body. Astaq for Allah. Auza billah. Auza billah. Astaq for Allah. How my can you brother, say, oh my, my dear brother, my dear brother, my dear brother, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me, give me one minute. Can, can you me, go okay? to Surat al Maida? So when? No, 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 give me one minute. Yeah, Surah Maida, I know. Allah said that, um, فَحَذَّرْنَكُمُ اللَّهُ عَلَى فِي نَفْسِهِ No, that's not the one. Used the word no, that's Jesus here. speaking Allah's to, one. Jesus speaking to Allah. He goes, you know what's in my nafs? I don't know what's in your nafs. You just said, everyone heard you. Yes. Wait, well done. Exactly. You just said to everybody here, exactly. nafs means the physical body. So Allah has a fixed physical body. Yeah. It's stuck for Allah or stuck for Allah. My dear brother, my dear brother, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain again. Let me explain again. Okay? Give me two minutes. Let me explain again. Okay. When we say that Allah hears everything, and we hear everything it does not mean i am comparing with myself to allah allah because in the quran chapter 42 surah surah uh, uh, surah hamim she's the chap uh, chapter 42 verse number 11 it is mentioned the lisa kami there is nothing like okay. him. there is none like unto allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is nothing like unto allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we use allah has, of course allah has shaped of course, all of the course, Allah's what? I can't hear you. That what? Allah has shade, shade. but it is not Tumli like shade. His creation. It is not okay. like you and me. So, do you correct yourself? To give me one minute. Do you correct give yourself, one though? More, one minute, please. Let me finish, please. brother. Let me finish, please. I shall give you. I shall give you time. Please give me. Please, uh, but make, me make it so come to the point. All the. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. So, thank you so much. Okay. So all the Muslims, so we Muslims, we believe and we know that Allah has shaped, but it is not like his creation. It is not like you and me. That is why in the day of judgment in Jannah, we all of us will be able to see Allah. Okay. He has a shape, but not like you and me, not like his creation. This is what the Quran says. Okay. So now, now Allah, Allah has knocks. Of course, Allah has knocks, but it is not like you and me. It okay. is not like like you know, a, you know, like my, my brother in humanity, okay. you know, can I show something to you? You're wasting time because you're not answering my question. You're going all over the place and you're going too fast. Let's try this again slowly because you're not answering me. Do you now agree? So we can make it easy because even people saying you talk too fast. Do you now agree the word nafs 
does not mean physical body. Of course not. Not means physical body. No, it can't mean that because Allah. So Allah has a physical body. Can I finish the point? Allah has a physical body unlike any other physical body. My dear brother, nafs means physical body referring to us, we human beings. Okay, okay so does nafs mean nafs. physical when body Allah in comparison nafs. to Allah? Does nafs yeah. mean so physical body in comparison to Allah? Okay, okay, let me, let me explain it again. So when Allah refers to himself as nafs, this means that he has shape, but not like you and me. Can, but can you show me in the Quran? Uh, that, uh, okay. nafs, it is our physical body. Okay, can okay. you show me in Quran where it says nafs means the shape of Allah and nafs means the physical body of man? <laughs> I already explained it. That I don't care about your explanation. Example, you're not a prophet. Let, let Friend, you're not a prophet. Brother, can you show me? Hold on, hold on. You're not a prophet. You don't receive wahi. Can you show me Ibn Kathir that says nafs means physical body and it means the shape of Allah? My dear brother, let me tell you again, okay? Let me ask you a question. Can you can, you can tell me everything, everything, right? Yes. Go ahead. No, let, me, let me clarify it. Let me clarify it. All okay. Right. So God knows, God hears everything, right? God hears, right? Yeah. You will agree with me. God hears. Okay. So, and God watch everything. Okay. God sees everything. God hears everything. Now, my question is, we hear, we also see. Does it mean that we are similar to God? Friend, that's not my question. Let me try it again. Can you show me in the Quran where it says, all right guys this is the part where this video gets more interesting if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please do so and hit the notification button to be notified each time we post a new video let's get back to this video to get more details the nuts of a man the nuts can i finish the question the nuts of an insan means his physical body and the nuts of allah means his shape can you show me in the quran please what you just said the Quran has itself explained. Okay, that show Allah me where. Shame, but it is not like you and me. Show me okay. where it says the nafs of Allah is his shape. His shape that's not that's unlike anything. Show me. Don't tell me. Show me. Quran ayah. Give me verse. Brother, when we use the same word, for example, we the word nox has been used okay. for Allah. Friend, let me make it easy. Has, has been used you repeat mankind. yourself. Okay. Let me tell you Friend, you repeat you yourself this. three times. So, you repeat yourself three uh, times. I listen, we got it the first two times. Let me repeat my question. Show me in the Quran. Very easy. Don't say the same thing five times, man. We got it. Show me in the Quran where it says Allah's nafs is his shape. That's all I'm asking. I'm not saying Allah's shape is like mine. Show me in the Quran, it says the, the nafs of Allah is his shape. You see, very easy question. Show me, ayah, surah. Of course, chapter, uh, chapter 7, verse number 143. Read it. Yeah, hold on. Show me where it says the nafs of Allah chapter is his seven, shape. I know what you're uh, talking about, that he's going to show okay. himself to Moses. I know. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. okay. Can the you show me Allah, in that Allah, ayah Allah, Allah, that Allah, that's his nafs? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he wants to so that show me your soul. Can you show me that that means show me your body? I know what you're doing with yeah, this yeah. ayah. Yeah. So, my dear brother, I, I say that when we use the word, the same word, for example, no, it refers to Allah, it does not mean physical body like you and me. When it refers to us, it means physical body like you and me. Okay, prove it. When when uh, we refer the, uh, when we refer the word here to Allah, it refers to he here, he hears everything. When we refer yeah. to the word here to us, we, we, it means we hear, but it is not like Allah. Simple thing. Yeah, Simple you said thing. that now five times already. We got it the first three times. Okay, show me in 7, 143, that when Musa says, show me yourself, your nafs, it means, nafs means your body, as opposed to just seeing you. Seeing you. Not nafs meaning your shape. 
Show me that in the ayah. The ayah didn't say that. The ayah says, uh, the Musa he said, yes. show me Allah yourself. Yes, right? I know that. Show me yourself. So, so my question is, how can one uh, show himself without a body? Yes, without, very uh, easy. Without, uh, very it, easy. Is not, it is not body. It is not body. It's shape. It is shape. Yeah. Okay, I'm not talking. Shape is a body. body. I know you want to use a different term. Okay, very uh, easy. Okay, I can answer you. Very easy. Even if we go with your hadith, Allah can appear in. Well, when I say Allah, you believe Allah is God. Okay, let's go then. Allah can appear in a shape, but that doesn't mean He has a shape. Because even in the hadith on the day of judgment, in the hadith of Bukhari, it says Allah will appear to the Muslims in a shape they did not recognize him. And he says, I'm your Lord. And they will say, surely you're not our Lord. And then he'll appear in another shape. They recognize him. How many shapes does Allah have? My dear brother, I'm not going to hadith because I'm not. OK, an expert so but that's my point. I'm How do you know? Okay? That's my I'm, point. I, I'm a student of Quran, okay? okay. I'm a student of Quran. Oh, good. So, so you're not going to go to Ibn Kathir? Uh, no, 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 I'm not interested in going to Hadith because. And you're not going to go to Ibn Kathir, right? I'm not expert. I, I'm not expert in Hadith. I'm expert, okay, but uh, even you're Quran not expert in uh, Hadith, you're not going to then you're not going to quote Ibn Kathir anymore, right? Because when Ibn Kathir he comments, he's going to the Hadith. So no more Ibn Kathir, right? We're just going to stick to the Quran, right? No, no, no. Uh, when I discuss with uh, with uh, anyone, a friend of mine, so I said, don't go to Hadith because I'm not expert in Hadith. So I cannot explain Hadith. But you went uh, to so Ibn Kathir. Friend, let me make it easy. You're not listening yet. If you're going to go to Ibn Kathir to explain the ayah, Ibn Kathir is basing his tafsir on the Hadith that he studied and the ulama that came before him, one of whom is Ibn Taymiyyah. So if you're just expert Quran, don't go to Ibn Kathir who's going to the Hadith and the other ulama who are going to the Hadith. Stick to Quran. So now let's go back to the original point because we went 50,000 places. Let's come back to the point. Go to now Surah An-Nahl, chapter 16. Can you go there for me? Yeah, okay. Okay, go to Surah An-Nahl yeah. because you we, we went 5,000 points. Shape and body. And, man, let's keep it simple. We're going to go back to the Ruh. Go back to the Ruh. Go to Surah An-Nahl, yeah, okay. chapter 16, read Ayah 2 for me. Surah An-Nahl, Ayah 2. Ayah 2, okay. <clears throat> Surah An-Nahl, Ayah 2. Yeah. Yunazzilu al-malaikata birruhi min amrihi ala man yasha'u min ibadih. Okay. An angiru anna hu la ilaha illa ana. Okay, read now, translate slowly because people say you go too fast. Don't okay. go too fast, okay. slow, so they can hear you, man. I want them to hear you. Yeah, thank you. He sends down the angels. This is the translation. Okay? Yes. He's uh, international, so he international translation. I'm, I'm reading it. Yes, okay? go ahead, go ahead. He sends down the angels with the inspiration of his command. Now, correct it. Upon whom he went. He wills of his servant, telling them, warn that there is no worthy of worship except okay. me, no. so fear me. Now correct it, correct the English. The English is not right, you know that. Correct the Arabic now, the English. Yeah. You, you know, Zilul Malaikata, he sends down angel and Bil Malaikata with Ruh. Translate. With Ruh, okay, Min Amrihi, with the inspiration of his command. No, translate Min the Arabic one more time, command. my friend, slowly. The first I'm, part, I'm, slowly, the first part, not the entire verse. He sends down the angels, translate that again. Uh, his, you uh, know, Zilul Malaikata means he sends down the angels, Biruhi, with Ruh. Translate with Ruh. His, yeah, with Ruh. Bir Ruh means with Ruh. Uh, with, Translate. Uh, ruh means here is uh, inspiration. With inspiration. No, it doesn't mean ruh, inspiration. Means no. Inspiration. No, it doesn't mean inspiration. Everyone heard you say Ruh. Did you guys hear? He said Allah sends down the angels with Ruh. Ruh. We have Arabic speakers here. It means spirit. Inspiration is Wahi. 
wahi ilham yeah it doesn't say okay, inspiration let, let, me another, let, let me share another part also okay, so no, be, no no wait wait don't go oh all oh, right oh no don't go anywhere finish this ayah the angels come down with the spirit by his command okay wait room don't don't uh, okay don't that's my question to you wait, room, okay room. let me let, let me ask you a question okay so, who are the angels is gabriel one of the angels of course okay wait slowly when it says he sends down the angels is gabriel one of yes. those angels of course okay so you just proved gabriel is not the ruh because the angels include gabriel and the angels come down with the ruh the ruh is different from gabriel thank you you just proved it Okay, okay, okay. Let, uh, let, uh, okay. let me explain again. Okay, uh, let's let's share another part also. It has. Uh, I have other parts for you, but part. can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Before you go to other parts, because I have more verses where the ruh is not the angels. Can you slowly follow my logic? Allah sends down the angels yes. with the spirit. So wait, you just said the angels. They're the group. Gabriel's one of them. So the angels with Gabriel come down with the Ruch, the spirit. So the Ruch is not Gabriel and the Ruch is not the angels. He's different from them. Okay. Okay. Ruch, all the angels, they are Malaika. I agree. I, I agree with that, that all the angels, they are Malaika. Malaika means and they angels. come down with who? In, if, 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 yeah, they are, they are, uh, he, you know, he sends down angels, Malaika. He with who? Angels, with Ruh. With Ruh. With with Ruh. Uh, Everyone heard you. With Ruh. So yeah, they're coming with Ruh. Now, so they're not the Ruh. Yeah, yeah. With Ruh. Okay, we will not translate. We will not translate the Ruh. Okay, only Ruh. With Ruh. Okay, what is meant by it? What is meant by it? Let's check. I know what it means. Chapter seventeen. Yeah, chapter seventeen. Chapter seventeen, verse number eighty-five. Oh, this is gonna check. backfire against you. This is my favorite verse. Please read it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Kuli ruhu min amri Rabbi. Oma uti tum min al ilmi illa kulila. Thank you. I ask you concerning the ruh. Okay. The translation. Uh, the translation is, uh, here. So internationally, he mentioned soul. We will not translate. We will just no translate uh, accurately. Uh, in the word ruh. Ruh is spirit. Okay. They okay. ask you about the spirit, right? Uh, uh, they ask you about the soul. The spirit. Say the soul is from the affair of my Lord. Okay. And mankind have not been given of knowledge okay. except little. Okay. Whereas, they ask you concerning ruh. Okay. okay. Here's the translation I have picked up. They are asking thee concerning the spirit. Say, the spirit is by command of my Lord, and of knowledge you have been given only a little knowledge. Right? Right? Okay. In so in so international. Yeah, that's international. Yusuf uh, Yusuf Ali, Pickthal, Arbery, every everyone and his mother. They say spirit. You want to say soul? It's not soul. We just went through that. Soul is nafs. The word here is ruh. They I ask you know, about the ruh and ruh. Uh, okay. Now let me ask you a question. Hold on. You quoted this ayah. How much knowledge of the spirit do you have? How much okay. knowledge of the spirit do you have according to this verse? It, you are you are translating as spirit. I don't agree with it. I don't I, care what I, you agree. I, I, ruh I, I, is spirit. I don't. will just I will just take the word ruh. Okay, okay. let's go with ruh. ruh. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna play your game. Okay. okay, friend, listen. Yeah. Be I mean, patient. Be patient. Yeah. Let's go with ruh. Yeah. I'm gonna stay with ruh. It's gonna yeah. backfire yeah. against you. How much knowledge do you have yeah, of the sure, ruh? Sure. Uh, we don't have. We don't oh, you have don't have much, so you don't know much about the ruh, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, now yeah, listen yeah. to me. Pay attention. In chapter nineteen of the Quran, what did Allah send to Maryam? The ruh, right? We're not going to translate ruh, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, wait. One, one yeah, at a time. Just take the word. Take the word ruh. Okay. Just be patient. We're not going to translate. Yeah. We're going to go through. Yeah. Allah sent the ruh to Mary. Okay. Allah breathed the ruh into Mary. 
and here it says yeah. well, they ask you about the Ruch we don't know much about the Ruch but you just lied to everyone you said the Ruch is Jibreel but the ayah says you don't know much about the Ruch so why did you tell me it's Jibreel I did I did not translate it I read the translation of Sahih International I just read the translation no you okay. talk you're not listening listen again you said in chapter 19 of the Quran the Ruch and in chapter 66 the Ruch is Jibreel because you went to 16 102 the Ruch al Quddus comes down upon your prophet with Wahi and then you went to chapter 2 verse 97 saying that's Jibreel you did say the Ruch is Jibreel but the verse you quoted says uh, Ruch we uh, don't know much about him what you are missing a verse you are missing a you, verse. you you are missing you went to 16102 uh, 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 you are missing the bars yeah yeah uh, let, let me let me uh, let me tell what you have said okay so allah sends down ruh to mary i agree allah gives ruh to mary i agree allah sends down ruh uh, to to uh, ruh al to to the messenger of allah the peace prophet muhammad i agree allah gi also gives ruh to uh, has given had given ruh to uh, to adam and has given ruh to us you are not, you are missing the powers chapter 32 and who is the ruh what is the ruh he, he, he. Okay. okay what is the ruh take, take the word take, take the word take the word what is the so, ruh so in chapter in chapter 32 verse number 9 that allah gives ruh to all of us so my question is that what is ruh mean by here what you can't you answer you have no answer no, no, no. Your ayah say, Shh, don't say nothing. You don't know much about it. So don't you tell me who the Ruch is because the verse says you don't know much about it. Yeah. So why are you telling me? I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know about it. I have to explain. So it then drop it. Why, why don't I know about it? Don't tell me about it. Don't tell me it's Jibreel. Don't tell me it's the soul. Don't tell me it's the body because the ayah says you don't know. Shh. So don't tell me it's the body. Don't tell me it's the shape of Allah. Okay. Don't tell me it's Jibreel. Because the verse you quoted said, you don't know much. Shh. All we know is that he comes down by the command of Allah. That's it. Ish. Don't tell me. So don't tell me from now on. Don't you dare tell me, oh, the ruh in man is the nafs, the body. Or the nafs of... No, you don't know. Zip it. End of story. So why are you telling me? Why are you telling me? Okay. My dear brother, let's take another verse also. What, why no, be, wait, wait, wait. Okay. We're going to change. We're yes. gonna, I'm going to ask you another yes. question. Hold on. Verses, I'm going to ask you another is, question before we get there. Let's, let's do you agree with me? Verses. Listen, you're not You're not going to change. You agree with me. Yeah. You shouldn't tell me who the Ruch is anymore, right? You agree with the Ayah? Before yeah, we go I somewhere else. i the word Ruch. What? It's I an Arabic word. No, we're going to the Arabic. The Quran is not word. English. The Quran is not English. It's Arabic. So don't translate for me. We're going to go with the Ruch. We're going to stay with We're not going to translate. Yeah. You can't tell okay. me what or who the Ruch is anymore. So don't translate it because the ayah you read, the ayah you read said, you only have a little knowledge about the Ruch. So don't say nothing before Allah. He judge you and condemn you to Gehenna because now you're talking. And saying things about the Ruch when Allah said, you say, the Ruch comes down by the command of the, your Lord and only a little knowledge, that's it. Zip it. Don't say nothing else. So don't tell me about the Ruch anymore. Okay. okay. Now, you now agree? let's take another verse also. Why Ruh is okay, but Ruh, do you agree? The Ruh is mentioned. Uh, do you agree? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, so don't yeah, quote. Wait. Stop quoting me any verse because any verse you quote, you can't tell me what it means. Don't you get it? You quote it. No, 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 no. Yes. My brother, when all the verses, when all, all the verses we will collect, then I shall explain it. You can't because okay, the I'm verse said you now. don't know much about it. Are you reading? Read Surah yeah, Al-Isra again. I, I, Read I Surah Al-Isra 85 again. Read it one more time. Yeah. Read it my one more brother, time. My dear brother. Yeah, my dear brother, I don't know about it. Okay, okay, so don't why, tell why? me. I shall, I shall give the answer why. I shall give the answer why. Uh, don't I know. This, I shall give the answer, okay? Before giving the answer, I want to share, uh, share, uh, share another verse also where Ruh is mentioned. The word. So we are collecting all... Okay, go to verse, but don't tell me what it means. Give me the ayah and don't tell me what it means. Just read it. Yeah. 
Don't tell me what it means. Surah Mumin, Surah Mumin, Surah Surah Mumin, verse number fifteen. Surah Mumin, verse number fifteen. Surah 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 Mumin, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I know what Surah is. Chapter yeah, the chapter of the believers. Yeah, Ayat fifteen, forty-two, fifteen. No, let let me check. Let me check. Surah Mumin. Let me check. Surah Mumin, verse number fifteen. Rafi' al Darajati Dhul Arsh. Hello. The root that he leyundiro yawma tala. This verse has been clarified. What root? No reason. Yeah. Okay. Read it. Okay. Okay. Let me let me ask it. Rafi' al Darajati, the exalted above above all decrees. Um, owner of the owner of the throne, he places the roof of his command upon whom he wills exactly. his servant exactly to honor of the day of meeting. So yulqi roof yulqi means he stand down or he places exactly. Or he, and, and what what is the roof that he stands down? Means uh, the uh, roof the roof. Of his command. Okay. Yeah. Here also the word roh is mentioned. Okay. Which I know. Amri. Um, I know. So yeah, we know. We know Amri. Yeah. Where roh is mentioned. Yeah. And what is the roh? Uh, which of the Amri also? What is the roh? Is mentioned. What's the roh? Wait, 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 wait. Huh? What's the roh there? What's the roh? Tell me, so you can go against the Quran. What's the roh? I am not explaining yet. Good. I'm just the you can't explain. Message. Now, let me give you three verses about the Ruh. Are you ready? Now I'm going to give you three. Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, no, uh, let me share another part. No, let me, let me yeah. complain. Oh, let me, okay. Just another verse also. Where Ruh is mentioned. Another verse also. Where Ruh is mentioned. So, uh, Surah Ashura. Surah Ashura, verse number uh, 52. Okay. Uh, surah, uh, surah, surah, uh, chapter, or what is fair, but we have uh, we have made it a light by which we guide yeah. whom, uh, okay. So the, the word ruh is mentioned in this verse also yeah, I know. that we have revealed to you, brother. You know, yeah, these okay. verses you're quoting, no, I know no. already. You know, I know, right? Yeah, All these no, verses you quote, I know no. I'm gonna use them against you. So now go to chapter 70 of the Quran, 70 verse 4. Chapter 70, verse 4. Okay. Yes, okay. Yeah, same one. Read it. No, read it. Read it slowly. 70, verse 4. Yeah. Okay. Malaika, the angels and the ruh hmm? will send to him during a day, the extent of which. Uh, is 50,000 years. Okay. So let me ask you a question again. Yes, let me ask you a question. Yeah, we heard uh, this guy. Yeah, okay. We got it, man, my friend. You know, you don't have to say it six times. We got mm -hmm. it. The angels and the spirit go up. Okay. Now, once again. No, no, don't translate it. Please, please don't uh, okay. translate it. The angels and the ruh. Uh, please, please. Now you're going to embarrass yeah. yourself. Please. Okay. The angels and the ruh. So now you said in the beginning, angels are spirits. This ayah says you don't know the Quran or you're lying because the angels are one group and the Ruh is someone else. Now is Jibreel the Ruh here? Is Jibreel the Ruh? Is Gabriel it, the Ruh? It, it is mentioned in the Tafsir. Tafsir writers say... No, wait! No, 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 no. I don't care, Tafsir. Ya Akhi. Remember, your Quran expert, we're going to stay with Quran. And you said, don't translate Ruh. In 1785, it says, okay. you don't know much about the Ruh. Don't go to Tafsir. Is Gabriel the Ruh here? Is Gabriel the Ruh? 
I don't know. I don't know. Gabriel is Ruh or not. I don't know. What do you mean? No, no. It says angels and Ruh. Gabriel is an angel. He's with the angels. The angels and Ruh. How can you not know? It's right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So, so, uh, so is uh, Jibreel Ruh? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm telling you. So, Jibreel is Malaika, among the Malaika. So, he's among he the angels. Been, okay. Given extra honor. He has been given extra honor. Where does, the, where does it say so Jibreel is the Ruh there? Ruch. Show me it's where it's the Jibreel is said to the Ruh. See, now you're lying because we read Surah Al Isra 85. It says, You don't know about the Ruh. Don't tell me Jibril is given extra honor, he's the Ruh, because yeah. 1785 says you don't yeah. know about the Ruh. Yeah, I don't know about the Ruh. What does it mean by it? It means I don't know how the Ruh, yeah, if I if, uh, you know, translate the uh, Jibril, how he sent down, how Jibril uh, came. No, when your prophet is asked about the Ruh, no, when your prophet is asked about the Ruh, he could have said the Ruch is Jibreel and how he comes down, I don't know. He didn't say that. Don't lie. He said the Ruch comes down by the command Emery, of your Lord. Only a little knowledge is given of him. Then he could have said the Ruch is Jibreel and he comes down by Allah's command even though I don't know. He didn't say that. Don't lie, man. You just read it. So how dare you tell me who the Ruch is when 1785 says you don't know much about him. And it didn't say it's Jibreel. And here in this ayah, the angels are one side, the Ruch is on the other side. Gabriel is part of the angels, he's not the Ruch. Now go to 78, 38 of the Quran. 78 and 38. Go to chapter 78, verse 38 okay, of the Quran. 78, 38, okay. Read it. Don't add to the Quran. Don't do that because you're yeah. going to face Allah. Fear Allah. No, I'm not adding. I'm not adding. Okay. My dear brother. 78, 38. I'm not adding. I am telling what the what yeah. I am I am telling what the commentators or what the uh, yeah. uh, what the uh, yes. Forget that. Still stay with Quran. Go to, okay? Go to 78, 38. Go to 78, 38. 78. Yeah. Yawma yaqumu ruhu wal same same thing. Yawma yaqumu ruhu wal malaika to sabfa. That day when the ruh and the angels will stand in rows. They will not speak except for one whom the most merciful permits. Okay. And so the, who's going to stand? Who's going to stand? The Ruh and the angels. Okay. So now again, the Ruh is different from the angels. So prove to me, Gabriel is the Ruh here. When the Ruh is different from the angels and you don't know much about the Ruh. Again, the Ruh is not the angels. The angels is not the Ruh. 7838 of the Quran. Okay, let's check another verse also. Okay, well, I got one. 97 uh, verse 4. 97 verse 4. Go there again. Okay, okay. Okay, 97 verse 4. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <coughs> Surah Al-Qadr. 97 verse 4. Oh, I know it. Tanazzalu al-malaikatu wa ruhu fiha bi-idni rabbihim min kulli amr. Translate. The angels and the ruh descend therein by permission of their law mm. for every matter by the permission of Allah okay so again is the Ruh the same as the angels or the angels are different from the Ruh angels and the, uh, the, the, I gave you four ayat the, 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 the word Ruh has been mentioned different and separate where uh, does the like, Quran say it's different and separate or is it the same Ruh that's different from the angels? Is that what you're saying? The Ruh is different from the angels, right? It is different mentioned. It, I, yes, I did not say the angels, uh, the Ruh, uh, no, I said it is uh, mentioned differently because when the angels and the Ruh, Good. it is mentioning uh, four times, right? Four okay. ayat of the Quran, four, Surah Nahal 16 verse 2, chapter 70 verse 4, chapter 78 verse 38, and chapter 97 verse 4, four ayat show the Ruh is different from the angels. Angels and Ruh, angels and Ruh, Ruh and angels. And yet Jibreel, Gabriel is an angel. And yet the Ruh is different from the angels. So I want you to now tell us, oh my goodness, did we lose it? We lost it. Are you there? Hello? Yeah, are you there now? 
Yes, yes. Okay, listen. Yes. Four ayat. Let's repeat them again. Four yes. ayat. I'm here. Okay, four ayat. 16 verse 2. Chapter 70 verse 4. Chapter 78 verse 38. And chapter 97 verse 4. Four ayat say ruh and angels. Angels and ruh. Angels with the ruh. Ruh. So there are four verses where the ruh is not an angel. The angels are not the ruh. Four. You have yet to give me one verse that says Jibreel is ruh. Okay, okay, one verse. Okay, let me give you chapter two, verse number ninety-eight. You can give me many. <coughs> there, the ruh is not mentioned. The word ruh is not in chapter. Okay, it's it's no, Jibril no, no, and Michael. No, 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 chapter, chapter. Okay, let me let me share these verses. Chapter yeah, please. Number, chapter two, verse ninety-eight. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Man kana aduwan lillahi minal malaikati warasulihi wa mikala. Yep. Whoever is an enemy to Allah and His angels, and His angels, okay? Good, yeah. His messenger, yeah. Okay, His and His angels. No, I know where you're going with this. This is going to backfire against you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give it to me. What? What? It's going to backfire against you. I know. It says angels, Gabriel and Michael. So Gabriel and Michael are not the angels, right? So my question is, do you think that that, uh, that Gabriel and Mikhail is mentioned uh, separately from the angels? So do you think that, that the Gabriel and Mikhail is not angel? Exactly. They're not, according to your Quran. Proof from your Quran, Gabriel and Michael are angels. Where does it say it? See, I so told you it's going to back... Wait, wait, hold on. Let me, okay, okay. Let me explain. Let me explain. Wait, let me explain. Let me explain so people see why you just embarrassed yourself. How do you know Gabriel and Michael are all angels? Where does the Quran say they're angels? No, the Quran does not say so. Say it again. The Quran does not say that the Gabriel and Michael are angels. Thank you. So how do you know they're angels? Where did you get that from? Yeah, okay. This I, I have got from, uh, from uh, scholars from... Uh, from from Hadith, scholars. Uh, oh, from, from scholars. Yeah, from Hadith, from, okay, okay, let me explain. Let me explain. Give me two minutes, okay? If you give me two minutes, I shall explain it. Okay, thank you. So, man kana adubu lillahi wa malai katihi. Who is enemy? He, Allah and his angels. So, angels refers to all the angels. So, but Jibril and Mikhail mentioned separately. Yeah. So, it does not They're not angels. Jibril and is not angels. They're not exactly according to your Quran. Okay. They're not. You don't know what they are. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now, now. According now, to your Quran, you now, don't know who Gabriel uh, and Michael uh, is. Uh, no, no. Allah, what? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, if if the angel. Okay, let me let, let me give. You keep uh, saying okay, okay, okay. I know I'm okay. I'm okay. Are you okay? I know. But let me give you another verse. Go to sixty-six. So if, Wait. If angel, let me give you another uh, verse. Let me get, uh, uh, brother, let hold me on, finish, brother, wait, this before you finish, let me finish it. before you finish, I'm going to give you another verse that says the same thing to help you. Go to 66, Surah Al-Tahreem, 66, Ayah 4. So this verse also says the same thing and it's going to backfire against you. Go to Surah Al-Tahreem, 66, verse 4. Go ahead, okay. read it. <clears throat> Yeah, 66, four. Okay. Hello? Now, I want you to prove to me Gabriel is an angel because here in this verse, Gabriel is different from angels and believers. So what is he? What is he? Jibril is mentioned dif Jibril is mentioned differently from the angels. From the word angels. What is he? Right? Yeah, what is he? Uh, let me think one minute. Give me one minute. Okay, I'll give you two minutes. Now as you're thinking, go to chapter eighty nine of the Quran, verses twenty one and twenty two. Go there. Chapter, okay, chapter 89, right? Hey, John Doe, uh, hold on okay. a second. John Doe, why are you starting trouble with people and accusing them of insulting the guy, John? Do you want to benefit in here? When you start debating them in the comment section, you distract them from focusing, so the focus becomes on you, John Doe. Stop it. You don't like the way they're talking. Leave it to the Lord. 
let people focus on the debate not on you and wanting to get attention because you're so super spiritual you're you're holier than thou stop it john please go ahead brother my brother in humanity go to 89 21 and 22. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, verse uh, chapter 89 Quran verses 21 to 22 ayah 21 to 22 yeah yeah kalla ida dukkatil ardu dakkan dakka wa jaa rabbuka wal malaku saffan saffa okay translate slowly no, when the earth yeah no when the earth has been leveled uh, pounded and crushed and your lord has come and the angels rank upon rank. Okay. In this verse, you have your Lord and the angels. Would you disagree that the Lord is not an angel? Or you agree he's not an angel? Is your Lord an angel or is he different what from the I, angels? And the angels. Uh... Okay, I have to check the tafsir, I don't know. How many lords you have, man? What are you talking about? When your lord comes, how many lords you have? Yeah, yeah this is talking about our creator, Allah. Okay, when so Allah do you agree? The angels, so you agree that your lord is not an angel? angel? You agree your lord is not an angel here? When it says, when your lord comes with angels, rank upon rank. Oh, sorry. Hold on. We're losing connection. Oh. Are you there? We we lost you. Uh, I... yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you agree? Yeah, 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 yeah. You agree? Your Lord who comes with angels, he's not an angel, right? Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Your Lord means Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala okay, so, and the angels. So they're they're not the same, angels, right? Uh, the being... Yeah. Okay. So why you go to a verse when Gabriel? And Michael are mentioned separate from angels and confuse yourself. When the four ayat I gave you, pay attention to my argument so you know what I'm saying. Four ayat, the angels with the spirit, the angels and the spirit, the spirit and angels clearly show spirit is different from angels. And then 17 verse 85, the Quran says, you don't know much about the spirit showing you can't tell me he's an angel. You can't tell me he's Jibreel. So, so, so you agree you agree that Jibril and Mikhail is not angel no right? I agree that your Quran doesn't know who they are your Quran doesn't know who they are <laughs> right Quran knows because Quran gives the answer because Quran has given the answer Quran says okay how do you know he's not a jinn that came down the Ruh means Jibril and he has uh, wait wait wait, wait, wait. The, notice uh, what you did again notice what you Quran. did friend you did it again you just everyone heard you said that Ruh al Quddus means Jibreel but 1785 says you don't know much about the Ruh why did you again say the Ruh is Jibreel why are you going against the Quran yeah, I don't, yeah I don't know about the Ruh means I don't know about him how he descends how he comes how why uh, didn't your prophet uh, say that the, why didn't your prophet uh, say the, uh, okay Quran to this is what I no, don't that's know. not I what don't 1785 how says. Has given the okay. Friend, how he has come, how he appears. How Whoa, he there, Nelly. Friend, that's not what 1785 said. A 1785 says they ask you about the ruh. They told Muhammad, "What is the ruh?" He didn't say, "Oh, the ruh. I don't know. How he comes down. How he goes up." He didn't. He said, "The ruh comes down by the command of my Lord." Only a little knowledge is given about the Ruh, not about how he goes up and down. Why did you add to the verse? Why are you twisting the verse? Okay, okay. If I, if, if I there are two opinions here. There are two opinions about this According verse. to whose if opinion? If I take Ruh, no, no, no. Let me clarify. There are two opinions. Chapter, chapter 32, verse number 9, that Allah has given all of us Ruh. So here, chapter Chapter 17, verse number 85, some commentators, some taxi writers, they wrote, they say that the ruh here means soul, human soul, all of us, has, he has given all of us ruh. I don't care what the another, tafsir say, my friend. Yeah. I don't care about your tafsir. You just said you're expert so how, of Quran. How okay. will you explain, how, no, 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 how will you explain the verse, chapter 32, verse number 9? Oh, very easy. I, I know what it means. I know. You're asking me from Christian? I'm telling you. God sends his spirit 
to make men alive. You live because the Spirit gives you life. The Holy Spirit, the What? Spirit of God. You're asking me, right? Let me finish. The Holy Spirit that comes from God is what creates our spirits and makes us alive. That's all it means. But forget me. Why do you keep going to tafsir? Why do you keep to going to these commentators that are basing it on hadith when you said you're not expert hadith, you only are expert Quran. Can you prove from Quran? Why can't you okay, prove from Quran? Let me ask you another question also. Okay. So here, here, Yeah, the Quran says uh, Jibril is Ruh al Qudus. So do you agree? No, it doesn't say that. Oh my God, stuck for Allah, stuck for Allah. Nowhere does it say Jibril is Ruh al Qudus. We, I corrected you four times already. <laughs> Brother, I think you have forgotten the verse, chapter 2, verse 197. Uh, you have forgotten this verse. Which one? Okay, I think it. No, I remember uh, it. Because you know, you forgot. Uh, no, let me tell you, you forgot. You forgot Surah An-Nahl, Ayah 2, where it says, it's not just Jibreel, the angels come down with the command, with the spirit upon whomever Allah wants to send them. So it's not just Jibreel who comes down, they all come down. So who told you Jibreel comes alone? My dear brother, in chapter 2, verse 98, Jibreel and Mikhail, Mikhail is mentioned separately. It does not mean they are not angels. Prove they are. It's mentioning separately. It Prove they are. They are not angels. Prove they are. Okay? So here. Yeah. You're not listening. Prove they are. Show yeah. me from the Quran, Gabriel and Michael are angels. Don't tell me that doesn't mean they're, they're not angels. Prove they're angels. Show me. Show me. Okay, how will you explain? If you don't accept it, how will you explain chapter 2, verse number 90, uh, chapter 16, verse number 102, where Ruh al Qudus sent down in another verse mentioned Jibril sent down? Means Very Ruhul easy. Is Jibril is a jinn. Jibril is a jinn. Prove to me it's not a jinn that came down. Prove to me Jibril is not a jinn. He's not a genie. Prove it. He's not. He's one of the jinn that came down. No, prove to me that Jibril is Jinn. Prove to me. No, I don't need to. You need to prove to me who he is. Who is he? Who is he? You don't. You can't prove to me if he's a Jinn or an angel or he's Burak the flying donkey or who is he? That's my point. Who is Jibril according to your Quran? Prove it. Show me who he is. Mm, I can. I. My dear brother, from the Quran, I can't prove. That Say it louder. Wait, wait. Say it slowly from and loud. Hadith, from, from Hadith. Okay. From Hadith. From Hadith, I can prove that he. Okay. Is wait, wait. Hold on. I didn't hear the Hadith. first part. You speak okay. too fast, man. Slow down. Say the first part slowly. From the Quran, what? Say it slowly. You told. You go too fast. What did you Hello? say? Yeah. Say it again. What was it you said? You said it too fast. From the what? You can't prove? Say it again. I can't prove so many things from the Quran. Okay? You can't. Example, if, if you ask me, uh, if you ask me, if you ask me, what is, uh, what is, uh, how, how many percentages of zakat from the Quran? Prove to me. I can prove it. You can't, if right? If you ask me what is jizya from the Quran, uh, prove it. I can, Quran is not, a, uh, Quran has not explained okay. you, I want everyone to hear okay. you're going too fast so, now. Too fast again. So you speak too fast. You want people to understand? You just admit to everyone. You cannot prove from Quran, Jibreel is an angel. And there's a lot of things you cannot prove from the Quran, like zakat. Okay, can do me a favor? Go to Surat al-Yusuf, Surat al-Yusuf, chapter 12, ayah 111. Surat al-Yusuf, chapter 12, verse 111. Please go there. Guys, I want you to hear what he said. Okay. I, I, I'm just, let me speak to them. You heard what he said. I cannot prove from the Quran, Gabriel is an angel. And there are many things I cannot prove from the Quran. So he wants to go to the Hadith, even though earlier he said he's not my an expert brother, of the Hadith. I, my dear brother, my dear brother. Go to, so I cannot prove from the Quran, the Jibril and angel. I cannot prove from the Quran that he is not an angel also. Good. You can't prove any. I know. Yeah. Good, good. So go to Surah. Sure, uh, yeah, yeah. So I cannot prove, I can prove from the Quran. How many percentage zakat uh, shall I have sure. to give him? I cannot exactly. prove from the Quran. I agree. I cannot prove from the Quran that, let me tell you, I cannot prove from the Quran. For example, Quran has given the indication 
So uh, the hadith has has explained it. So uh, th that is why the tafsir. Okay, okay, if you don't uh, give me don't give me story it. now. So many things. Yeah, don't give me story, man. Listen, go to Surah Al Yusuf, Ayah one eleven. Don't give me your story and what you believe as Sunni Muslim. That's what you believe that the hadith explained. No, it doesn't. Just go to Surah Al Yusuf. Go to Surah Al Yusuf and read Ayah one eleven for me, please, slowly. Chapter 12 of the Quran, verse 111. First and last, first and last post, chapter 12, verse 111. Yeah, chapter, Good. Chapter 12, verse 111. Okay, I'm reading, I'm reading. Yeah. لَقَدْ كَانَ فِي قَصَصِهِمْ You there? مَا كَانَ حَدِيثَ يُمْ ولكن تلتقوا الذين بين يديه والتفصيل كل شيء وهو قد ورحمة لقوم يؤمنون. The translation is that there was certainly in their stories a lesson for those of understanding never was the quran a narr narration invented but a confirmation of what was before it and a detailed explanation of all things good and guidance and mercy for a people who believe okay now you, your translation just said the quran is a detailed explanation of all things it explains everything in detail right let me, let me explain this one. Don't let please me, don't me. explain. Can you first tell me before no, you no, explain? No, no, let me tell you because no, let me tell you. Chapter uh, let me, uh, okay. One second, one second. Yeah. One second. We'll give you two seconds. Okay. So the Quran says that it has explained all things. What is meant by all things? There does not, all things does not mean that it has explained mathematics, physics, chemistry, Show me where it biology, says that. Um, biology, Show me where it says it that. Like, okay, it, one more time. It doesn't mean that. Okay. So, uh, now, let me tell you. Let no, me, no, hold on, wait. Okay. Show me I mean, where the Quran says all things doesn't mean mathematics and science, geography and history. Show me where the Quran says that doesn't mean that. Don't tell me your explanation. I don't care for your tafsir. Show me in the Quran where it says, can I finish the point? Show me in the Quran where it says, yeah. all things doesn't include math, science, history, and my birth certificate. Show that to me. Yeah. Quran, uh, why Quran has been revealed? Quran has been revealed for guidance. So it has explained all things regarding to... All things regarding what? To guide. You're breaking up. All things regarding what? His breaking. Your connection is not good, brother. It is not. It is not. It is not. Uh, hello, hello. Yeah, now you're better. Okay. So you're saying it explains all things concerning the guidance, so, so, right? So, uh, yeah. All things concerning the guidance because Quran is for okay. guidance. Okay. So all things regarding to guidance okay it and that's details. part of the guidance okay okay let's go with that, that. we got it for the guidance of human beings. okay we got it means, guidance uh, okay we got it we got it okay calm down okay isn't it part of the guidance for you to be rightly guided to know about the angels isn't it part of the guidance to be rightly guided to know about the exact amount of zakat isn't it part of the guidance to know the guidance uh, how many times to pray? So show me that in the Quran. Because you just said, listen, you just said to everyone, all things means it will explain all things about the guidance. But part of the guidance includes how to pray, when to pray, how much zakat to give, who are the angels. Show me that information from the Quran. Now show me from the Quran that Gabriel is an angel and how much zakat you pay and how many times you're supposed to pray and how. Because you just said all things means the guidance. Show that to me. Okay, okay, let me explain again. So if I want to go to Makkah, for example, I am from Bangladesh. So if I want to go to Makkah and one of my friends, he, he, say, he said to me, if he says to me that uh, you have to go in that way, okay? And if I go to Makkah in that way, so that means he has guided me how to go. Only he has told that way you can go. So uh, oh, I have boy. to go with the way you go to Jannah. He, he did not say so, okay? Okay, uh, the way you go to Jannah, the way you go to Jannah, okay, my friend, the my way you go to Jannah. Let me finish, let me finish. No, friend, you're, you're wasting time, you're playing games. 
the way you go to Jannah, to guide you to Jannah, you have to do what Allah commands you. You want to go to Jannah, you have to pray. You don't go to Jannah if you don't pray. Okay, so let me finish the point. So that is why, that is why Quran only says pray. Okay, but that's not only what it says. It says it explains everything. Brother, do you want me to hang up on you? Do you want me to hang up on you? Or do you want to listen? Listen. Listen because you're playing games, you're tap dancing. If prayer is part of the guidance to Jannah, then the Quran says it will explain all things in detail about prayer. Now show me where the Quran explains all things in detail about how to pray because prayer is your way to Jannah. It's your guidance to Jannah. Show me in the Quran where it explains all things about Zakat because Zakat is your guidance to Jannah. Show me where the Quran explains all things about Hajj because going to Hajj is your guidance to Jannah. And then show me where the Quran explains all things about the angels because part of your Iman is to brother, believe in the angels. My, my dear brother, my dear brother, my dear brother, Quran has guided that I have to go to Mecca, uh, go to Hajj if I uh, have capacity. Quran has guided that I have to pray. And Quran does it tell you how? Quran has guided. After this is the guidance. No, no, it, it says explain all things yes, in detail. So We're going to have done this conversation. Finish, you're wasting time. Okay, you're wasting time. My dear brother. It says explain everything in detail, not general. De you said it. You just told everyone all things in detail mean the guidance. Now when I say give me the details, oh, it just says you need to do Hajj. So it's general. No, the ayah said it explains everything in detail. You said everything means uh, the guidance. It's going to explain it in detail, but you failed to give me the details. So the Quran is wrong. So don't play that game with me. Uh, my dear brother, my dear brother. Okay, my dear brother, go to 41 uh, verse 3. Uh, let me tell you, uh, okay, let me tell you, let me tell you. In the Quran, let me tell you one okay. verse. In the Quran, uh, Surah Ar Rahman, chapter 55, Kullu shay'in halikun. Kullu shay'in halikun. The Arabic word, kullu. Okay, so it, if it means kullu shay'in halikun, everything will be destroyed. Yes. So it means everything means everything. In Arabic yep. language, kullun, kullun, when it means kullun, it does not include, uh, when uh, kullun, kullun does not include, include everything. Okay. What we well, understand, it, uh, see, now I'm going to catch you on this one. In Arabic, this now, let me tell you, let me tell you. Go to 41 in verse 3. Language, in Arabic language, this is conditional kullun. Okay? Yeah, yeah, this is I conditional know, I know. Kullun, for yeah, example, who told you it's okay. conditional kullun? Hold on, wait, wait. Where did the Quran explain Conditional Qullun. Remember, you're giving me what a scholar told you. Show me. Okay. Go to 41 verse 3. We're wasting time now. Brother, you got two minutes. Two minutes to listen. You got two minutes. Two minutes. Go to 41 verse 3. Go to 41 verse 3 because now you're playing games, wasting time. You're not understanding. Final one. Let's see how good you do. If you do bad, we hang up. 41 verse 3. 41 verse 3. Okay. 41 verse 3. Okay. Bye bye. Go kiss the black stone. Bye bye. You're a coward. You're afraid. Bye bye. Take care. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. These men cannot defend their book. Their book is from Satan. Muhammad was a son of Satan. He's burning in hell. Jesus Christ is Lord. The Bible is his word. You see the problems? You see they can't even defend their garbage? They can't defend their false prophet? They can't defend their false Quran? Are you catching it? Good. We had a good crowd for a late night. We had about 360. Okay. These, are, these sessions, they're not scholars, so I don't boast. I debated these men. There's no boast in debating them. But here's what you learn. I want you to walk away with this. Here's what you learn. Here's a guy that knows the Arabic Quran. And even though he knows the Arabic Quran, he doesn't understand it and can't defend it. And as he's translating the Arabic Quran, he's mistranslating it, thinks he's going to get away with it. Okay? Did you catch it? You understand what you learn? A man who recites the Arabic Quran, but doesn't understand it, and he still can't defend it. You see? Right? You understand the point, right? Yeah. Okay, so, but what you learn now, you learn, number one, Islam is a satanic religion from the pit of hell. Islam is full of holes. It is so irrational, contradictory. The real miracles that people think it's a miracle. 
No Muslim can defend Islam, can defend Quran or Muhammad, because you cannot defend a satanic lie when the truth is that Jesus is Lord, he's alive, and the Bible is his only inspired word. Anything that goes against the Bible, by its very nature, has to be false, has to be wrong, has to be a lie. That's where we come in. We must know our faith, understand our faith, live out our faith, love our faith, never be ashamed of our faith, and proclaim our faith by the power of the Holy Spirit, even if we have to die, because Jesus is worthy. So I hope you benefited today. We had a very good crowd for a late night. Right now, a very good crowd. So God willing, Lord Jesus willing. What's that noise? It's not door. All right, anyway. God willing, I'm going to be doing a live stream. Okay, yeah, I'm sure. Father, so Spirit, destroy the buffering. Okay, let me announce what's going to happen tomorrow. Thank you guys for the super chat. Lord bless you, watch over you. God willing, tomorrow, I believe at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be doing a live stream with Al Fadi. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sir International, critiquing Shabri Ali's. <clears throat> he just did one recently on the Holy Spirit in the Quran. Watch what I'm going to do to Shabri Ali's arguments tomorrow, God willing. But before I do the live stream with Al Fadi, I'm going to do a live stream for my YouTube channel. So, God willing. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to go live with Al Fadi. And then, Lord Jesus willing, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to do a live stream on my YouTube channel addressing Adnan Rashid's objections against the Trinity to show he's another charlatan, another fake, another demon, another son of Satan that you should not respect. So, God willing, tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to go live on my channel. And then 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live with Al Fadi to expose Shabir. God willing, tomorrow I'm going to expose two charlatans, two demons, two sons of Satan, two perverts, spiritual perverts, Adnan Rashid and Shabrali, by the grace of Jesus Christ, for the glory of Jesus Christ. So hope you're blessed. Hope you enjoyed it. Today we had a comedy relief session, a lot of laughs. So if you want to laugh, go watch that. Then I did an intense session on 1 John. And how 1 John is full of meat, proving the Trinity. Jesus is the God-man. And that we're saved by the blood of Jesus, the cross of Jesus, by His grace through faith in Him, apart from anything we do. So listen to that. Now you got a bonus. Late night impromptu debate. Glory to the triune God. So here's what I need from you. Here's what I need. You need to be praying hard for me. That God gives me health. I keep losing weight and get healthier. God makes me holy, which is more important. To be radically in love with Jesus, obey Jesus, serve Jesus, glorify Jesus, right? All right. Glorify Jesus Christ. Magnify Jesus Christ. I don't know. Is this another Muslim? Not, not at this late. It's too late, buddy. Hold on. Let's see. Maybe we got another. You guys up for another customer? Hold on, guys. Glorify Jesus Christ, be holy, and obey a doer of his word, not simply a hearer. Pray the Lord Jesus will provide for my daughters and I, keep us safe. Pray the Lord Jesus keeps them healthy and in love with him. Okay, we got another customer. Are you guys tired? Or are you still up? You guys ready for victim number two? Who's ready? Another customer. Okay. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, fill me for the glory of Jesus Christ. Let's go. Okay. Hello? Yellow? Yes, sir. Don't scream too loud so people can hear you. Don't you know what's happening? Are uh, you tell me? What do you mean? You called me, so you're ready to talk? I'm ready to talk. Okay, you have your crown with you? So uh can you open what your crown? Well, what does, what I can't does hear you. Mean to you. What? What does talking means to you? You you asking questions? Yeah, go to the Quran before I muzzle you. It's this guy again. Go to your Quran, dude. Go to no, Quran so I can school your you. prophet. No. Listen to me, bro. It, it, does, it doesn't go like that. No, it goes you like that. Me. I'm not your demi. Shut your pie hole. Your prophet is a whore. Defend him. You want to defend your whore prophet or your another barking dog? Which is it? I'm about to prove to you that Gabriel is a spirit. Okay. You sure you're going to do that? Yeah. 
You go to the yes. Quran and prove it to me. Go ahead. I'm like, you ready? Yeah, well, I'm ready. I'm ready to embarrass your prophet, the son of Satan. Go ahead. But if you need 297 first. Oh, this guy again? 297? Did you hear me for the past hour discuss 297? Or were you kissing the black stones? Pay attention, people. Okay. Hold Pay on. Attention. Were you? Did you hear my discussion on 297? Or were you smooching the black stone like a filthy pagan? You need 297, bro. Did you hear my discussion on 297? Or are you busy no, no, smooching? Before. Did Listen, you hear? Well, let me say it again before I muzzle you like the dog you are. Did you hear me? Discuss 297 for the past hour, yes or no? Yes, I heard your dumbness. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to make your prophet cry, that filthy dog. Now go ahead. 297. Listen, people. Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. What about Allah? Say, go ahead, yeah. Anyone who opposes Gabriel should know that he, Gabriel has brought down this Quran, Gabriel, into the heart of Muhammad. Gabriel, the spirit is the one that brought down this Quran into your heart, into the heart of Muhammad. Is that clear? Yeah. Can you show me in the Quran that Gabriel is the only one who came down? I'm not done. No. I'm, I, I, I'm going to prove to you. No, yeah, you're going to go to Surah Nahal 102. We know. No, I'm not going to, to Surah Nahal. Okay, hurry up quickly. No. Come on, boy. Come on, hurry up. Go ahead. No, no, no. Let's make it clear. Who who, uh, who, who put the Quran in the heart of the Prophet in uh, the verse? Shaitan, Muhammad's father. No, uh, let's be clear. Gabriel, by his name, no, Shaitan, Muhammad's father. Muhammad ibn Shaitan. Shaitan is Muhammad's father. Gabriel, by his name, Gabriel. Go to the next verse. Don't waste my time before I make you smooth, smooch the black stone. No, wait. Next. I'm going next. Come on, boy. Come on. Hurry up. I need 10 seconds, bro. Now I'm going to 26. Listen. Oh, yeah. Go 26. The faithful spirit. You stupid brain ass. Where does that say it's Gabriel? Listen. Yeah, here Where does it say that spirit is Gabriel? Ruh al Ah, uh, let me recite it. In '93, uh, the the Holy Spirit, Gabriel, came it, down. It doesn't say Holy Spirit in '26. You're so stupid. You don't even know the Arabic. It says Ruh al Alamin, the faithful spirit. You bring ass. Put the Quran in the heart of the Prophet. Now prove to me the Ruh al Alamin and Gabriel are the same. Gabriel Prove to me, uh, shut up, you stone licking pagan. I spit on Muhammad, you filthy dog. Uh, shut up, stupid dog. All right, okay, guys. He didn't even know what verse he's quoting. And he, okay, guys, thank the Lord. This guy's a waste of time. This is how you treat these filthy dogs, okay. Yeah, the faithful spirit, the faithful spirit, he brought it to the, the, uh, Muhammad and. I just spent two hours on this guy. Okay, anyway. Don't waste your time. When you see a dog like him, muzzle him, silence this filthy dog, and his prophet for the glory of Jesus. Guys, discernment. Know who to debate and know who to ignore. This filthy dog is a waste of time. He's like his prophet. He's demonized unless the spirit grants him repentance. Only deal with those who will answer at least as honestly as possible and not just rant like rabid dogs. Okay, so hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, see you tomorrow, God willing, all right? Christ is risen, risen indeed, amen. So pray for me and my daughters. God, give us the health we need. Protect them, save them from their mother's immorality and bring them to me that the Lord Jesus will make me holy for his glory. Grant my daughter's salvation and provide to do the ministry for the glory of Jesus Christ. Hope you guys are blessed. I'll see you guys. Christ is risen, risen indeed. Take care. All right, welcome back, guys. I believe you were able to learn something new from this amazing debate. If you've learned something new, let's know what you've learned in the comment section. It is amazing how these guys are desperately trying to change the world of their prophets by adding to their Quran. Later, they will now come out to tell us that the Bible has been corrupted. I love the way Sam Shimon is calling them, even on their own book. He agreed with Sam in so many instances, but yet he refused to admit the simple 
truth. The Quran said the angels and the spirit, the conjunction and there means they are different personality, they are different entity, they are different persons. That conjunction and there has differentiated them that the Quran is not talking about one person, rather he is talking about the spirits and the angel thereby differentiating these two entities. This shows that Gabriel is not the Holy Spirit, neither is the Holy Spirit an angel according to what the general views of, uh, of the Muslim concerning this very verse right here. And why are all this confusion from a book that claims to be self-explanatory and explain everything in details? If the Quran claims to explain everything in details, why is there so much confusion? Because there is no clarity. Because the Quran did not tell us in details who um, the, that verse is actually referring to if it is either the Holy Spirit or the angel. Guys, let us know what you think about this debate in the comment section and please don't forget to share to like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this thank you for watching see you in our next video